Hey guys, welcome back to Montevue. In today's video, we have 10 ways to get more out of your NVR setup. These are all tricks and tips to make your security system more efficient and to work better for you. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like down below, comment what you guys would wanna see in the next video, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. All right, let's get to it. So number one, we have no logout time. Are you tired of entering your password every single time you wanna check your cameras? Well, this trick will render the automatic logout time to zero, which means your system won't time out and it will not require a password after being idle for so long. To do this on your NVR, go to your main menu, select system, then head over to logout time below. Change this to zero and hit apply. Now accessing your system is faster than ever. Don't worry though, there's still a way to log out. Simply go to the main menu, click on this little arrow in the upper right corner and select log out. You'll need to make sure you do this every time from now on if you want your system secured for others. Otherwise, don't worry about it. Number two, PTZ linkage. This function allows you to direct a PTZ camera to a specific location based on a motion event from another camera on your system. When the fixed angle camera detects motion, it can tell the PTZ to move to a specific preset. This can be set to be zoomed in on that area or just for a second angle in general. The applications are limitless. The setup for this function is slightly more advanced, so you're going to have to head over to our Montevue Masterclass video to learn more on how to set up this function. The link will be in the description below. Number three, formatting your hard drive. Occasionally, tech support gets a panicked call about deleting a video from the system. We're not here to judge or ask questions, so unfortunately for some of you, deleting individual video recordings from the system is not possible. However, you can format your NVR's hard drive to erase all the footage and get a fresh start. To format your hard drive, go to the main menu, click on storage. Then we're gonna click on disk manager on the left side. Choose your hard drive that you wish to format or all of them. Then you're going to select format down below. It will ask you to confirm, select clear HDD database, and continue. Make sure to export any important footage before performing this action. Number four, custom views. So we've all adjusted our cameras within the default layout options, but did you guys know that you can set up multiple different live layouts? Go to your main menu, select this arrow, go to page two, then we're gonna click on display and click on layout on the left side. Here we can add new custom layouts and options that are endless. Click and drag to extend the boxes, or click this button to divide them. Save your layout and then hit apply. This is a perfect example of how custom layout can really benefit someone. I have a 180 degree camera and two other standard fixed angle cameras. So for this one, I'm going to put the 180 and its wide aspect ratio in the bottom screen with a wide view. And then I'm gonna put the Acubit cameras up top. So this way I'm using 100% of my screen as well as getting the best aspect ratio of each of my three cameras. Number five, motion tour. Tour mode is the ability for the NVR to rotate between each camera or a set of cameras in a timed basis. But did you know that you can set this to follow motion instead? So for this example, I have three cameras around a house. And when each one picks up motion, it's gonna go to full screen for that camera during that motion event. And then it will rotate to the next one once it picks up motion. If you guys wanna activate this feature, we're gonna to go to the main menu, click on the little arrow to go to the second page, and we're gonna click on display. Once here, we're gonna click on tour setting on the left side. And first off, I want you guys to check these boxes and we're gonna do view one. This is to go full screen when they pick up motion. However, you guys can choose view eight for an alternative view. Next, we are going to enable this button down here. And finally, we wanna turn off standard tour mode. So we're gonna go through all of these down below and make sure that there are no check boxes. Make sure you change all the viewing angles to make sure you have everything unchecked, just like I'm doing here. Once all that is complete, we're gonna hit apply. The final step just depends on what kind of motion you guys are using with any particular camera. So in this example, if we are using standard motion or smart motion detect, we are gonna go to alarm. We're gonna find the camera that we want and you guys are gonna see this little box here is marked tour. You guys are gonna check that and then hit apply and do that for every camera that is using SMD or standard motion. If you guys are using tripwire, you're gonna go to the main menu, you're gonna click on AI, and then you're gonna go here to parameters and IVS and under every single tripwire trigger section, you guys should see an option for tour mode. Go ahead and click that and hit apply. 
Once you guys apply these settings, the motion tour should begin immediately. And in order to disable this, just go back to the display settings and uncheck this box. Number six, adding a second screen. This one might be more obvious, but adding a second screen can vastly improve your ability to monitor your property. And let's be honest, a security wall just looks way, way cooler. So to connect to a second screen, simply plug in your main monitor into HDMI 1 and plug in a second screen using a VGA cable with the light and 4 series NVRs. Or if you have a 5 series or 6 series NVR, you can use HDMI 2 for that second screen. Once connected, go to the main menu, go to page 2, click display. Then on the right side, you'll see the options for subscreen. Activate that and select any options here, although the default ones are usually the best. Enable decoding and hit apply. Once back at the live view, you guys can adjust and access your second screen by right clicking and choosing sub screen here at the bottom. This will temporarily change your main screen to your sub screen so that you can view and adjust cameras accordingly. To return, right click and select main screen at the bottom. To get more in-depth knowledge on second screens, check out our video on adding a second screen in the description below. Number seven, privacy masking. This can be useful if you have any location in your camera's view that you don't wanna see or record. Perhaps it's a bit of your neighbor's yard or something a little bit more unsightly. Either way, this feature allows you to put a blurred section or completely black section over your guys' live view and your recordings. To activate this feature, we're gonna to go to the main menu. We're going to click on camera in the bottom left. And then right over here, we're gonna click on overlay. Finally up top, select privacy masking. All right, first thing we wanna do is press add. This is gonna create our first privacy mask. Keep in mind, you guys can create more than one privacy mask. And then next thing we're gonna notice is type color lump creates a solid color over the area and then mosaic is going to create a blurred version over that area. You can even choose your color to the right. And once you have these options picked, we are ready to draw our image. So go up to the screen up above, left click where you wanna start and then just create your shape by left clicking. We wanna make sure this enable button is clicked down below. And then all you guys have to do is back out to your live image and it should be represented there with the blurred or the blocked out privacy mask. Number eight, motion masking. Does your timeline look like this? Just too much motion going on in view to pinpoint anything important? Motion masking can take motion detection out of specific locations on your camera's view. This means that the only motion the camera will register is what's in the designated space that we want. To get into this function, go to your NVR main menu, select alarm, then choose video detection. Select your camera and choose region. Now it's gonna bring you to the screen. Anything covered in the red colored squares will be triggered motion. The clear squares will not. To clear a square, simply left click and left click again to color it. You can choose sensitivity and threshold above as well as having multiple different color regions which contain different sensitivities and thresholds for those portions. Threshold is the size of the object and sensitivity is related to how fast the object moves on camera. High sensitivity and low threshold means any sized object moving any speed will trigger the motion detection. Low sensitivity and high threshold means it will take a very large object moving a lot to trigger the motion detection. Once you have your motion masking complete, right click out of the screen and hit apply. Number nine, physical reset button. We all know the cameras have a physical reset button in case of malfunction or password change, but did you guys know the Montevue NVRs also have a reset button of their own? To access this button, you'll need to remove the cover of the NVR and actually access the electronics of the unit, since the button can be found on the interior of the device. This is one of the more advanced things that you might ever have to do with your NVR. So we do have a step-by-step -step instructional walkthrough video for you guys, and that is gonna be available in the description below. So check that out. Number 10, using a PoE switch. Is cable management an issue with your NVR? Does your system contain multiple PTZs and other large cameras? Using a PoE switch can not only make cable management simpler and cleaner, but it also provides extra power output and effortless direct access to your cameras. When thinking about your camera and NVR setup, 
it's important to know that it's possible to plug in all of your cameras to a PoE switch, which enables you to connect a single cable to either your router or NVR from up to 300 feet away. This can make installation easier and more organized and allow cameras to be set further away from the NVR unit. Having your cameras on a PoE switch also grants direct access from any computer within the network. Being able to log in directly to your cameras not only enables more features that are available within the cameras themselves, but also allows for easier firmware upgrades and general maintenance. All right, that's it for the video of 10 ways to get more out of your NVR. If you guys want more, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Leave a comment on what you guys wanna see for some future videos, and we'll see you guys next time.